Hi everybody, this is Ed with InSky Aerial Services. Today I'm going to walk you through the uh, DJI Matrice 210 RTK ground system. Here you see we have our Pelican 1400 case and you'll see that the ground system fits in here rather nicely uh, with the pick and pluck foam. So let's take out the ground system and our antenna and let's go through this and show you what we have. So here we have the ground system itself and you can see that it's made uh, with a few different component parts here. Um, first we have our Datalink Pro 900 module which is mounted on the top and beneath that is our DRTK module and we have our antenna which mounts on the side here you know, a simple tightened antenna, threads on here, flip it up 90 degrees. We have power inputs here uh, coming from the cradle into the DRTK module. And then on the data link, we have our status indicator light here, and we have a linking button. And on the underneath of the unit, um, we have our USB port where we hook a mini USB cable into our computer running the assistant and we have a four position switch which uh, is located here when we're flying it's in the UART mode and when we're updating the firmware we move it over to combo uh, below on the DRTK unit we have a status indicator light and also another linking button um, we always turn this ground system on first when uh, before we turn on the aircraft or the controller and we wait until we have a steady green indication light before turning on the control in the aircraft. Um, you'll notice here on the side uh, we have our antenna, our DRTK antenna on a nice little mast that slides up and has a threaded knob and locks in place. We also have a TB50 battery cradle and it's holding the TB50. We turn it on here like all other DJI equipment. And then on top it has a keeper to hold the battery in place. Um, underneath we have two threaded connections where you can put it into a tripod. So, you know, those are handy in case you have different uh, different size threads for your tripod. And we have on our DRTK, we have another CAN bus 1 connection here. And you'll notice that where the wires are plugged into the side of the DRTK, it's in the UART CAN uh, connection going from there to the Datalink 900. And then you'll notice here we have our USB port for the DRTK and that's where we plug in when we're updating the firmware on this module. So you can see it's pretty simple. Um, nice little piece of equipment. Pretty uh, robust. Um, doesn't look like you can operate this in inclement weather but um, it, I guess it is what it is here. So thanks for watching and make sure you take a look at the other videos that we have describing updating the firmware of the uh, other components. This is Ed with InSky Aerial Services and we'll see you in the next video.